This week, my guest is the lovely Katie Blake. So she is from the Hey You Method and I know many of you guys already know her. She is an absolute superstar when it comes to gua sha. So I've got all my gua sha's on my bed here, ready to go. So if you have a gua sha, grab one now. If you don't, don't worry at all. We're going to be doing face yoga as well and you can just watch the gua sha techniques or even use your fingers instead. So it's going to be a lovely class all about the lip area. I'm going to see if um, Katie is come along yet. Katie, how are, how are you? you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So lovely to see your smiley face. <laughs> so lovely to see you too. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was just um, telling everybody that we're going to be working the lip area um, with our gua sha and then doing some face yoga. But I also said if anyone hasn't got a gua sha, then they can use fingers or they can just yep. watch and they can watch back this live later on when they do get their gua sha. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Amazing. <laughs> so I wonder, Katie, whether we just get started straight away. Um, if you're yep. all right to show us maybe three of your favourite techniques, either with your gua sha or your precision tool, um, or both, for around the lip area. Um, and then I'll show you three of my sort of favourite lip techniques for face yoga techniques for the lip area. Absolutely. And because we're going to do face yoga with gua sha, mm -hmm. I'm going to use your oil so we don't have too much dip on the skin. Right. Because um, because actually when we do face yoga, we don't want as much slip. But when we, when we do gua sha, you want a little bit of slip just to make sure you do protect the skin. So right. I'm going to use your lovely oil. <laughs> lovely. Your I'm just oil smell all around. So nice. It's so nice. I'm almost out, Danny Owlet. <laughs> I'll have to send you another one, Katie. <laughs> Drop me a message after. I'll get another one sent out to you. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna lovely. Lovely I'm going to go. Around the lips. Oh, it's so lovely. Mm. And it's like you said before, it's good for oily type skins as well. It's brilliant So because it penetrates into the skin. But if you're doing just a short gua sha routine, it's brilliant because it will penetrate into the skin, but you've still got that slip for that short amount of time that you're going to be doing a gua sha. So I'm going to start off with the restorer because a lot of people don't use the restorer around their lips. And I just wanted to give a technique on that you can actually use it. And not everyone has a precision tool. So I wanted to make it fair that everyone has a fair chance on using them. Great. So I'm going to use the jade because um, a lot of people do have the jade. And this one's really good for relaxing the top, bottom, and the actual lips. You use the inside um, curve facing upwards, and you have the two double prongs facing inwards. Beautiful. I thought and I'd use the rose quartz just to show you can use both yeah, in the you morning. Can use both. Absolutely, yeah. The rose quartz is designed for morning use as well, so it is perfect if you do it. So it's nice that you both got one of each. Exactly. <laughs> And then place it over the lip, support your lips. It's really good to anchor your skin as well, depending on what type of skin you've got. You don't want to over pull the skin. Mm -hmm. So hold in your lips and hold in the tool quite flat. So it's flat on the skin surface. Mm -hmm. And you stretch the skin gently over past the smile lines, just to the center of your face. And you do this eight times. So the pressure is quite a gentle pressure. That's so nice, isn't it? So nice, so <laughs> soothing. Mm. And what I always love about this is all those gorgeous healing benefits you're getting from the crystal as well. So I think if you are, particularly in the morning, or if you've got sensitive skin or you're feeling sensitive, then I love using the rose. Um, yeah. But an all-time, anytime use one is the jade, um, and yeah. great for all skin types. And even though I never like the word anti-aging, it's a great anti-aging tool. That one as well. Yeah, absolutely, it's brilliant. And it, once you've done one side as well with that move, you can feel how much it's released the tension within that lip area. And you've also gone across the lovely smile lines that lots of people always ask us about as well. Definitely. So you're incorporating the whole lip area. So it's quite an easy move. We we'll do the other side as well, and it's important also to warm up the muscles as well before working too deeply too great. so it's a great all-rounder mm -hmm. and it's so lovely using the tool actually in this flat way um mm. it's a good way to get started particularly for anyone that's 
new to gua sha or anyone that's got quite sensitive skin i love using the tool in more of a flat way rather than when we use it i mean i yeah, love the definitely. lifting as well i mean yeah, that's yeah. that's great but it's, it's a yeah. nice transition and a nice warming isn't it definitely so if you've got more sensitive skin type if you've got a more um i hate using all those words it's so uh, like mature skin type <laughs> <laughs> you Katie, want we to probably control. class as mature skin type now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. I know completely. We are. We're in that category. Exactly. <laughs> Use a bit more flat is nicer for that type of skin. Um, but if you're more sensitive as well, having a flat at all is great. But like you're saying, if you're doing those more lifting, plumping, I always call some of them the light and fluffy moves as well, like yeah. the real lifting techniques that you use. I will use more of an angle, so I lift it all up a bit. So you can play with the angle depending on your skin type. It's amazing what you can do with these tools. I've had such wonderful benefits over the years of these tools. It's been, yeah, been a really lovely experience to see people's facials um, come into life, really, and them doing it at home and enjoying the techniques. And um, that's then, the lovely thing about that. So, oh, be, be intuitive as well. I love that you brought that up because we're all so individual. And even though we're giving these techniques out, have a think. Does this suit my skin in this moment? Does it suit my skin today? Um, if it doesn't, adjust it slightly. You know, if you need to feel you need to change the angle, you need to swap one crystal for the other crystal, then do that. Really ask yourself, what, what do I need today in this moment? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the next move I thought I would share with everyone. Shall I do my? I'll, I'll do my jade again. Cause what are you going to use? Yeah. You're going to use the rose quartz. Yeah, or shall I use the jade yeah. as well? We'll do more yeah. okay, today. <laughs> so the reason why I'm going for jade is because rose quartz is really gentle. It's great for sensitive skin types. But when you're wanting a, quite a good lift, mm -hmm. the jade is a lot stronger in material form, even um, in energy form. As you know, I like my energy healing as well. Me too. Um, but you're going to get that lovely lift. So I'm going to go underneath. So the lovely muscles that we use to do that, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to teach you a lovely move to help relax those muscles and help work with that movement. So right. using the rounded edge, placing it underneath your jawline, and it's slightly tilted. It's not quite tilted. It's quite mm -hmm. flat because, again, we're waking up those muscles. Support the skin on the cheek area, mm -hmm. and you sweep underneath the lip area, just up to the cheekbone. That's it. And it just takes that tension. Um, so lovely. So nice, isn't it? Yeah. And actually, slower the move. Again, you can do them fast, you can do them slow. The slower the move, you're really getting into that muscle, getting it nice and relaxed. And then you I'll can do, do a this light. with your gua sha as well, can't you? So if yeah. you do have. Guys, if you do have this one instead, you you can use this do one. So Katie will show you how to how to do it with that one if I carry on with the precision tool. So um the reason why I choose if you've got the choice, mm -hmm. I would use precision tool, but if if you you're happy just using that one, you can feel the difference in depth that you can get with yeah. the tools again. So it's precise this tool it gets more into the areas but this one's just as beautiful you know it just depends again on what what you want to do what suits your your face what suits your skin type yeah it, it all depends Wonderful. on that Wonderful. and everyone's asking where they can get these tools so they're all hey you method tools so you can get them directly from the hey you method we stock them on our website faceyogaexpert.com slash shop um, you can go to link in my bio you go to link in hey you method bio so all of those tools are on there yeah, yeah, absolutely. So again, you can do that move six to eight times, depending on your skin type again, and just making sure that you do anchor the skin. And if you find that you're happier using your right hand and you think, oh gosh, how am I going to get to that side and do that move? Yeah. This is where you can anchor here, turn the tool, and you bring your hand around as you do it. So you're That's anchoring, lovely. making sure that skin's tight. Yeah. Making sure the skin's supported. And it's lovely. And what you can do with this one, what I quite like doing with this one sometimes is sort of half the tool is on my lower lip and half yeah. is on the muscle as well. And that's quite nice because you really help with that energy and circulation on that lip Absolutely. area too. Absolutely. And that was my final thing I thought a lot of people say about the lip lines within mm -hmm. the lip area. You can gouache on your lips. You know, you can go on your lips. 
And we've got your lovely oil on our lips now. So let's get the circulation really moving. Mm -hmm. um, so I always do this move in four stages, waking up the actual lip area, because you want to work up the top, the bottom, working the whole muscle, and then going on to the lip area to get that circulation moving. So again, let's use this side. So the tool, actually, you have um, a lightweight side, medium and heavyweight side when you use this. So it's got different aspects to the tool that come to your treatment. So depending on your skin type again. So I'm going for the middle weight side <laughs> and I'm gonna go above my lip first, supporting my skin, using that rounded edge, coming out towards the smile line. Don't stop in the smile line because you don't want to create a line there. You then flip past that smile line, coming up to the cheek. And then again you're following the natural path of your muscles as well. Mm -hmm. We're going up, giving it that nice lift. So this is for fine lines in the top area of the lip. Mm -hmm. And it's a gentle pressure here. Yeah. So soothing. So lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And when you lick the tool there, it just gives it that extra lift as well mm -hmm. as you do that. And then we're right. going to do the other That's side lovely, as well. yeah always trickier one side than the other isn't it because we've always got that so if you're, yeah. More, more yeah. side. and then if you're happy doing right hand just support again with your middle finger and just uh, sorry not the middle finger the index finger yeah and going up so don't you know play around with it see what you're comfortable with it's better that you're comfortable holding your tool you're going to get a much better move out of the tool if you're holding it in a more comfortable way then you go into your lips because you've got your lovely lovely oil on our lips mm -hmm. so then i do a pose i call it the fake smile pose <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you come out of these uh these <laughs> you, you hold your lips so they're nice and tight so you've not got a ripple within your lips mm -hmm. it's like putting on lipstick yeah and you go from the middle and you go outwards yeah. so you notice now the tool is quite upright as you do this yeah so it's quite gentle but you're getting that circulation moving in the lip area it. and again so nice. doing light pressure so lovely it's really good for the pumping yeah. getting that circulation but even just doing one side you can then feel how much that circulation is waking up in the lip area straight it's like away it's, it's like any blocked energy there is just flowing it's better really yeah absolutely yeah. so then the same side same on the other side sorry trying to talk and gouache out your lips I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's difficult it's always like that with the lip area <laughs> I know, completely. <laughs> so nice on here. And, and breathing good. deeply as well. That's always really nice, you know, just to focus yeah. on the breath. And then it becomes yeah. almost like a little bit of a meditation as you do it as well. Absolutely. Because when you're in the comfort of your own home as well, it, it's, I notice when I'm teaching people, I don't know if you're the same, I'm forever going, remember to breathe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the movement <laughs> yes completely i yeah. say it all the time but the ironic thing is is that i forget to breathe because i'm so focused <laughs> on guiding the session so i always yes. try to remind myself as well you know take the deep breaths as you teach yeah. so yeah absolutely <laughs> and then going down to the bottom lips you mustn't forget in the bottom lip as well so going in the middle again holding your lips tight and going out so it is like you're putting on lipstick again Good. and katie people are asking can we use the yeah. gouache for this move as well yes sorry yes i should show that so again using that tip of the tool yeah. and it's goes out like that yeah so you can do that again it's going to be a deeper move using the position tool but try it out with your you know with your restorer yeah. the restorer is great because if you're moving about when we can move about again yeah. going places and you only want to take one tool with you yeah. it's very adaptable you yeah. can do a lot with the tool yeah um, but if you're wanting to do a deeper treatment, go a bit further with your gua sha. The position yeah. tool is wonderful to add in to that. And then because you've already gone underneath your lips as well as the first move, you can then see how it's worked that whole lip area by stretching, working above, working on the lips and underneath. You've got a lovely circulation going on there in the lip area. You have, which is really good for pre prevention and reduction of those little sort of fine smoke lines around that area. Because, I mean, yeah. everything in terms of healthy skin comes down to energy and circulation. So if we can get the circulation boosted and if we can get the energy flowing properly, 
our skin is going to look healthy. I always say to people, you know, don't get too hung up on tiny fine lines or wrinkles. Actually, yeah. what makes us look healthy and vibrant and youthful is good circulation and good energy. And that's what I love about these yeah. tools. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that um, every tool brings a different energy as well. So Jade is really good for balancing. Rose quartz works with the heart energy. Actually, clear quartz. We don't have a precision for the clear quartz, but you can do it with the clear quartz as well. Yeah. You know, go warm and everything up. This is brilliant for nighttime use as well. Um, I love this one. This one's, I yeah, do. I love all of them. They're all so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but I love Gua them all works. It's so nice. But Gua Sha works beautifully with face yoga. So you can do combined in the two together. We've worked wonders, haven't we, Tanya? Oh, it's been we have, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got lots more exciting things to come. Um, as well we with have the, with the collaboration of, of Face Yoga and, and Gua Sha yeah. with you guys at Hey You. So soon the news yeah. will be will be out there. Though we are sort yeah. of telling a few yeah. people. I feel like you and I can't keep it quiet because I know, I mentioned really. a, a few times people and they're like, "Oh yes, Katie mentioned that to us too," so, and then Katie brings. <laughs> mentions it so oh, yeah. it's exciting we have got news coming um it the is. question i know that somebody asked um yeah. about is it about eight times someone said about eight times uh, so depending yeah. again depends on your skin type so yeah. if you've got a more sensitive skin type and you do come up quite red when using the tools and you don't always enjoy bringing up that redness to your skin just do about three to four times and always look at yourself when you're doing gua sha i always think look in the mirror and make sure you're um seeing what it's doing to your skin what development is happening on your skin what reactions are going on because every day is a different day so you might find one day it's it's absolutely fine the next day you might come up and that's where we go into the energy work of gua sha <laughs> absolutely definitely and i can see there's loads more questions so maybe if i show you a couple yes. of we'll just do some quick face yoga moves of this area and then we'll get into questions because i can see there's lots of questions already about <laughs> gua sha but also lots just generally um, about the face so we can go back through those in a moment so let's just do a few just to really complement what you've done Katie um, so let's use our index finger and we're just going to come to the lip line and we're just doing little flicks along the lip line so we're going all the way along and then we're going up here and then let's go the other way so this again is really good for the circulation it's very good just for softening any fine lines around the lip area we're working again with that energy flow exactly and all of these sort of massage moves they're all helping with that regeneration of new skin cells to helping with um promoting the collagen elastin production so you know we're not getting that instant big lip plump but we definitely get a plumping of yeah. the lips it's sort of a nice yeah. little natural plumping with with this and the gua sha so let's do one more yeah. time just around here around the lip area good and then let's still use our index finger i'll come a little closer here okay. and i'm doing little massages so the pad of my finger about half of the pad is on the lips and a little bit of it is on the skin there yeah I'm going all the way across and again it's just that circulation but do this you know if you just applied a little oil around your lips or even if you put a little bit of lip balm on mm -hmm. do this help your product just get deeper into the skin but it's always nice to have that glide yes with these techniques yeah so let's just circle around which is lovely i'm going to put some more of your yeah. lovely balm I think I, I gua sha a lot during my sessions. Yeah. My skin's loving oil at the moment. Oh, <laughs> just drinking it in. Yes. <laughs> that is so nice. So both of those two you can do for up to one minute each. And then let's now just combine our massage with a little bit of exercise. So we're going to wrap the lips around the teeth and make a bit of an O shape. Now we don't need to over exaggerate that O shape. It's like this. So slightly tucking lips around. And then I'm going to take my index fingers and I'm going up and down around the lips. So so 
again it's tricky to talk and demo it is. <laughs> so i'll let you keep going with this one while i talk about the benefits of this one so this one we're working with strengthening and toning this muscle that runs all the way around the lip area through the facial exercise part of it we're then combining that massage so we're getting all those lovely massage benefits too so you can do for about one minute and if you're very prone to sort of smile lines and marionette lines you can do either one or two uh, move it into this area a little bit as well so you're getting that really nice massage and circulation there and you can really feel that it's exercise those muscles as well can't you you've yeah. got such a selection of muscles in that group as well definitely mm. definitely right Katie I will have a little look at people's um, questions I'm going to go back to the beginning and um, pick out a few Ooh, my lips feel great now question. oh good yeah mine do <laughs> as well um okay so let's go for Teresa's question what can be done about upper cheek creases so I'm guessing she means the sort of um we'll try and tap the screen so they can see you I don't know if the comments are um covering oh you. yeah in front of me yeah are they in front of yeah. you how do I get I those back down I again <laughs> I swear I'm not very good on um, the um okay let's let's carry on so, and, um, i'll yeah. sit back a bit and then you yeah, might go to yeah see exactly me. that would be that yeah that's great and then we can see perfect yeah. so with with the i call always call them the smile lines so it just yeah. sounds a bit nicer it does <laughs> it does official <laughs> official name is the nasal labial folds, yes. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but again depending on your um facial type depending on your skin mm -hmm. it's always good to anchor support the skin so making sure you're using your hand that you feel that you're comfortable with using light pressing to begin with because hopefully you've done more of a facial warm-up before you do this move as well but you support the skin either side rounded curved edge mm -hmm. placing it underneath the line and you want to go through the line to the other side so you support i'm gonna just move my hair and you go through so you concentrate on the bottom one first mm -hmm. And then once you've done that a few times deep, you then lighten it and f get that blood flow to the surface. I love these little feather techniques. They're so lovely, aren't they? I always call them my light and fluffy moves. Yeah. When you go up to the top, you do exactly the same. Support the skin, go free. Mm -hmm. Just be careful not to push too much pressure into this area when you do this move. Yeah. Um, you want to concentrate on the area that you're working on, not extend the move all over the face. You just want to be a bit more precise. That's what's so wonderful about the precision tool. Definitely. And can you just quickly share us with the gua sha, maybe on the other side, yeah, um, just in case anyone's not got a precision tool? That side. So you use the thinner side when you try and do the same moves as what you do with the precision tool. It gives you a bit more room to manoeuvre. So again, supporting the skin and just going in again, going before and after and then doing the nice little flicks to get yeah, through. Lovely. But try not to end in the actual smile line. You want to go through it to actually getting that energy all the way through that area and boosting that circulation. That's a great <laughs> tip, definitely. And in terms of a facial exercise to complement that, um, yeah. I really love ones which work with, I mean, we have so many muscles in this cheek yeah. area. Um, so a really nice lifting and firming one. Um, lit, um, Puff the cheeks out full of air. Yeah. And then we're going to place our fingers here. And we're just going to smooth any lines that might be created here. And then we're going to transfer the air from cheek to cheek. So we're going. And you need to breathe deeply in and out through your nose this one as you run out of air. I'm reading the questions at the same time. <laughs> I love these moves, though. All of these moves. Great. And the puffer cheeks, are, I, yeah. I think it's brilliant. Absolutely they are brilliant. Great. And I've been combined in these moves in my sessions when I see people for gua sha. I'm like, oh my goodness, if you do this before and then this, the gua sha moves after, you're working so much deeper with these moves. You are definitely, and you've done our teacher training course as well. So you're actually one of our qualified yeah. face yoga teachers as well. Yeah, <laughs> so your teacher training course is absolutely wonderful. I recommend it to people. It's just so so good. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Oh, that's lovely to hear. We've got people from all over today: Poland, Thailand, Scotland, Indonesia, oh. Lake District, Russia, Italy, oh. London, Turkey. 
That's Yay. so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so nice. So many nice comments. I'm going to get back down to the questions. Um, yeah, I'll let you go through the questions so we don't muddle them up. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Quite a few people have actually asked about the obsidian gua sha's. So, you know, the black obsidian gua sha's. Could you just quickly talk about um, any benefits of those? I know that um, neither of us sort of stock them. No, hey, don't, 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 stock don't. Them. But, um, yeah. There's actually a, a really lovely company called Rosental, um, and they stock them. And I'm trying to think now. They gave me a code to get a discount. And so DM me. If you particularly like the Obsidian, uh, or Obsidian one, um, you can DM me after. But Katie, would you yeah. quickly mind just showing that one? Yeah, so you get, you get Obsidian and Nephrite. So this one, um, it's, it's a lot stronger. So it makes the jade look very weak when you're doing the moves. Yeah. It's a lot stronger. So the jade is really good for lifting and sculpting. But this one will really up the game <laughs> and really lift and sculpt that skin. Yeah. Um, it brings in um, a nice balance in energy. It's really good for blood circulation as well, this one. Mm -hmm. um, you can use this all throughout the day again. So it's a great one to kind of have like the jade. Um, when you're doing your lifting and sculpting moves with this one, it's it, you really, I'm going to show you a nice move now, just so you can see the difference. Yeah, and I'll do one with the jade as well, just so you can see how much more it sculpts within. So going underneath the jawline and going up, I only need to do about four moves of this because it's so much stronger. You can already see how much it's curving in my cheek. Yeah. If I'm doing the jade, I need to do a few more. I need to do about eight. So it shortens the uh, the, the treatment as well, doing an right. So you can get, you can still see, I still need to do a few more on that side. Yeah. Right. So the difference in the energy, the difference in the strength of the crystal, um, but the price is very different as well for that one. <laughs> <laughs> definitely definitely um everyone's asking about where we get the tools so hey you method um and you can also get on my website faceyogaexpert.com and everyone's asking about the oil as well it's called fusion by danielle collins organic yeah. vegan and again you can get that faceyogaexpert.com or go to the link in my bio um and click shop and it's all there um, absolutely wonderful your oil for how long, Katie, can we use one gua sha? So if we're going to do one treatment on ourselves, um, yeah. what's the recommended amount of time, minimum and maximum, you'd say? Yeah, so it depends again on skin type, depends on sensitivity, depends on the elasticity within your skin. So it's anything, for me, I say anything from one minute to about seven minutes, right. um, maybe up to 10 if you've got a bit more time. I have had people this week coming in and saying they... <laughs> They've been doing hours of uh, gua sha whilst watching TV <laughs> and they're wondering why their skin's come out in like a little bit of a breakout. And mm -hmm. you've got to remember it's a type of massage and you are stimulating your skin whilst doing this. So yeah. listening often is good because then you can do it daily. Um, if you're deciding to do a more um, stronger routine, like a longer routine, um, up to 10 minutes and say you, you want to do that in an evening, that's good. Um, I would choose to either do that morning or evening, not both. Um, you, one minute rituals are lovely for in the morning. It wakes up the skin, gives you that glow. Um, that's why I love the rose quartz because it's quite gentle. You're not going to really bring up much char. Um, it's, it's again, they all bring their own aspects to the, to the facial. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but this one keeps its coolness. Its benefits are coolness. That's why it's so good for sensitive skin types and morning use. Um, holding it on your eyes mm -hmm. is a lovely one to do in the morning. Mm -hmm. Underneath the eye yeah. as well and to the side of the eye just so you do both sides obviously longer than that <laughs> but you yeah. can do that for a good 10 to 30 seconds on each side to really help depuff um wonderful wonderful exercise to do and then just doing a quick one to two minute gua sha routine in the morning is lovely um again depending on your skin type depending on your time as well yeah um and like if you were doing a, a night every week of doing a bit more of a deluxe treatment, that's when I'll do the more 10 minutes, giving myself that nice boost. And I'll probably do that twice a week doing that. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. And if anyone is sort of feels called cool to do more, then I agree with you not doing lots more massage because that eventually is going to irritate the skin if we're going over that sort of eight, 10 minute mark. But yeah. actually, sometimes you can just hold the crystals you know and breathe and use them in that way so i love yeah. holding it sort of on the heart area even sort of so throat nice. chakra 
Um, we can hold it on third eye. Uh, you know, you can hold it in areas. And even if you've got an area that's particularly very sensitive, so say you've got a lot of acne or rosacea, let's say, on the cheek area, if you are worried about doing any of the actual gua sha moves, hold, just press oh hold yeah. the coolness particularly if it's straight from the fridge and then even using the ends and just holding on some acupressure points you know that yeah. can also be a lovely way if you're thinking either you want to do more you know you sit in front of the tv and you just feel like actually i want to do quite a lot do the press yeah. and hold or the acupressure yeah. um, but also if you're sensitive or a bit nervous about using it remember it is a crystal so actually just by holding <laughs> the crystal I know, um, so sometimes I just hold hold in my hand and take a few <laughs> breaths you know that alone yeah. is is so healing well even just holding in your hand you've got your you know you've got six meridian lines coming into your into your hands you, you know holding your acupressure points if you're watching tv and you feel a headache coming on going into bladder too it's absolutely yeah. amazing um collecting bamboo or gathering bamboo that one's called it's it's lovely how you know you can add these these routines into your evening um also when you go into chakra work as well you know heart throat third eye crown chakra you can do all of these with all all of your crystals depending on what you're trying to bring into that aspect if you're trying to bring love in we always talk about opening up the crown chakra and coming all the way in um it's it's a wonderful way of bringing in that love that heart energy it is so beautiful um let's have a look at a few more questions um Lots of people from around the UK today, Wimbledon, Clapham, Isle of Wight, Cotswold, Stratford-upon-Avon, and then we've got Sweden, Indonesia, Brazil, um, let's have a little look. Uh, oh, that's a great question, um, and Katie, I'll let you answer this. Um, the difference yeah. between the Heyu oil and my oil, because we champion both, don't we? But maybe if you could just talk about, about where you would use each one. Yeah, okay. So the hay you oil is specifically designed for gua sha. It's a lot heavier. It's got almond oil as a base oil, so it's got larger molecules that so sit on the skin surface for a surface, sorry, for a lot longer. Um it's super balancing, it's got frankincense, your lang ylang, um lotus flower, um uh parma rosa in it. Um trying to think now. <laughs> My brain went there. You said okay, um, we don't expect to remember every ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the almonds, it has got almond oil, so if you have got a nut allergy, obviously, you know, it's oh, not for you. But mm. it's it will sit on the skin surface so you can actually do a longer gua sha routine. Mm -hmm. Um it is great for skin types, but I would say if you've got a more oily skin type, that's when I would go for a lighter oil. Mm -hmm. So it's good to mix the two, or if you're finding that you want to put makeup on that day, you might want to block your skin after doing gua sha just to release any extra oil that's sat on the skin surface. Gua sha does help penetrate oil into the skin surface as well because it opens up the pores, helps the oil go into the skin surface too um your oil is wonderful for a shorter gua sha routine mm -hmm. um it penetrates a lot quicker into the skin it's very light again so it's great more for all type skins but um if i had a more oily type prone skin i'd probably do a bit more gua sha with yours and then a more dehydrated skin they're both good actually for dehydrated yeah. skins yeah, but this so. one longer treatment shorter treatment yeah so it's Absolutely. you know depending on what you want to add into your day Definitely. And I would say mine, you can just use as your morning and your yeah. evening um, instead of moisturiser, instead of oil. So, you know, that's what I use it for as well. Um, and yeah. it works beautifully with with face yoga as well. So it doesn't sink into the skin too quickly, but you've not got too much oil because with gua sha, yeah. you do need that little bit extra oil, which is where the hey you yeah. one comes in. But with face yeah. yoga, you know, often you need your fingers to be quite still actually so um yeah. but i would also say mine's particularly good if you've got more sensitive skin um and also because it's got lots of rose hip oil it's very good also if you've got um age spots or, or sun spots as well um yeah. so so that's good so both are good for for different reasons different i would reasons. use hey you more as sort of a treatment oil for gua sha yeah. and mine more for sort of face yoga and and day and night use you know to put under makeup or you can even put under your yeah 
other creams or whatever so yeah they, they both work yeah. beautifully both, both beautifully. and you know when you say um with face yoga obviously you hold your skin mm -hmm. to um keep those moves you do do some moves like that with gua sha as well so if you're wanting to do more training those muscles and holding them in place yeah. that's when you don't use such a slip to the oil but if you're wanting to do more pummeling moves and getting the um, area moving that's when you want a bit more of a slip for a longer period of time so i agree again depends on your moods <laughs> it really does it really does and this is a, a great question i think we probably both have uh, the same answer to this one so this lady is saying she's got the rose gua sha she's got the jade crystal um yeah. which crystal to order next now i would probably say if you're looking for another gua sha then to go for the clear quartz because it's a lovely one to soothe stressed skin in the evening um so yeah. you've got your rose and actually don't need to use and this is the thing i, I sort of say about tools i don't use all my tools every day i'll no. pick maybe one or tool, two tools a day and i'll mix it up according to how i'm feeling and how my skin's feeling that day um yeah. but i would definitely say actually my clear quartz is, is in my little mini fridge i've got right. at the moment but um, <laughs> you've got a clear quartz there when you posted your picture i was like i need a mini fridge with all those goodies in it do you know i just got it from argos literally it was like same day delivery from argos so i was like my tools are so unorganized and then also yeah. i was having these bowls of tools in the fridge and i was having to get through those to get the kids carrots out and i was like do you know what i'm gonna get a little fridge just yes. for all my crystals but um yeah i definitely <laughs> say these two and then the the clear quartz so my order something. for sort of if you were to um order them i would say for most skin types in the overall sort of use, I would say this. However, yeah. if you've got very sensitive skin, go for that first. Um, and if you wanted to go through an order, I would say jade, then get yeah. your rose for the morning, get your clear for the evening, and then yeah. add in precision tools when and if you want to. Yeah. And remember, you know, yeah. it can all be done just with one tool. Yeah, that's the other has. thing you know it's it's lovely yeah. to have different crystals for different reasons but actually one tool is, yeah it, it's fine and even if you haven't got the tool fingers are great you yeah, know definitely. as you know I, I am a fan of fingers at, for above everything really you know our hands can do so much and these are such such lovely ways to complement that yeah absolutely absolutely and also it depends on you know people's budget as well so yeah. if you're thinking i just want to have one going for that if you've just got this one which is absolutely wonderful to just you know have this one it's beautiful it's a multi-use tool you can use it morning evening even in the middle of the day because we're all at home at the moment yeah. if you were going to add on i would get the jade so you've got jade and jade Perfect. so then you've got a little selection then and that's a wonderful selection you know you don't need to yeah yeah that's so enough, just depending really. on yeah yeah absolutely and then like you say you've got your hands to move yeah. around you've got your hands exactly <laughs> definitely yeah oh, so many people um enjoying this maybe if we take two more questions katie i know I we've got so many questions um <laughs> Catherine says she's got sensitive skin. She can't tolerate the beauty oil. Can she use rose hip instead? Of course. And, and as we said, you know, more for sort of sensitive skin, you can use my fusion by Danielle Collins um, instead. Um, let me have a look. Um, a lovely um, mention from Mandy there. Her skin feels so much smoother after you use the rose quartz gua sha and her lips are definitely plumper, which is great. Oh, that's so so good. nice. Have you got your comb on you? Because there's a question about yeah. the comb. Maybe we can do Ooh. that as our last yeah. um as our so last the one. Comb. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Talk comb is so good for releasing my hair band off for this. I know I can put my on just just in case. <laughs> But it's brilliant for relieving tension within the scalp area. You're yeah. also then following energetic pathways for your scalp. You're following your bladder, you're following your gallbladder, you're following your triple warmer. Yeah. It's amazing for going into these areas. So I always start in the middle yeah. and I bone it. So I go, let me move back again. I seem to be really close to the camera. Today. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good it. if like, we can see you. It's great. I know. <laughs> and then when you come down to the bottom, do wiggles just to release any tension at the bottom of the skull. Yeah. Um, doing that all over the um, the head is absolutely amazing. Doing it at night time yeah. helps you sleep, but it also helps to de-stress fine lines and wrinkles in the forehead because you're releasing the tension in your skull. Definitely. So good. 
um going um it's good for circulation as well as in hair um yeah it's been known to help people's hair grow as well doing i know so and actually I, I keep mine um in the shower now and i do that when yeah. i'm in the shower but I also use it now on the body. Um, I got in a really bad habit of not doing any of my body brushing or any of this yeah. on my sort of bottom and thigh area last year. Yeah. I mean, it was a global pandemic. Something's got to slip. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not slip for me. And actually, I've really found I've had cellulite that's built up in that area. So I've gone really? back to my body brushing before yeah. my shower. And then I use this. I mean, I don't think I can in the shower. shower. Yeah. And then I'm, and I'm working this area... Yeah yeah exactly absolutely amazing it's absolutely yeah. amazing and that is when sorry you'll probably just see my legs now yeah, if you, yeah I, as, you, as you do it when you're yeah. going again you can yeah. follow the energetic pathways yeah so as you're doing it you go, and you, if you've got um spot fat sorry you can't see my face no, if, you, <laughs> if you've got spot fat this is where you can go down and really ease out the tension yeah. first in your leg i'm following the energetic pathways by going down the legs and up so you're yeah. doing bladder gallbladder and stomach as you're going down um but then you can go into nice little flips get in yeah. it and then go in at the inside of the leg again get into that area first yeah. again following the energetic pathways liver spleen um and then going up yeah like that again so you're you're getting that energy working in that area um yeah yeah, so it's right. um, love that. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So it's so, part so of my good. routine now and it really yeah. helps that circulation because you really realise that actually if circulation gets sluggish anywhere, it affects the skin. Um oh, and completely. so yeah, I find that it's great to use and um hopefully my yeah. bottom will be beach ready in a few months when we can actually <laughs> go to a beach. <laughs> we can go around. Yeah, go around. yeah, if we get to go to a beach. Exactly. And I'm going to be a beach in the garden at this rate. <laughs> Thank you thank so you. much. As always, I love doing That's lives with you. And That's I will amazing. save this live so everyone can watch it back again. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. It's always thank lovely you. to see you. Thank you for inviting me on. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend, Katie. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.